Hello everybody, it's me Nolan the Stuff. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we are gonna be rating every JoJo's Bizarre Adventure part out of ten. And this is only gonna be the anime parts because I have not read part seven manga and part eight manga, so this all will be with the anime. So yeah, let's get into it. First part up is Phantom Blood. The main character of Phantom Blood is Jonathan Joestar. And it's about how his adopted brother Dio turned evil. It all started out when Jonathan found out his brother Dio was poisoning his father. When Jonathan tried to arrest him, Dio turned himself into a vampire with a stone mask. To try to stop Dio, Willie Zeppeli taught Jonathan the ways of Haman, the power of the sun, because the sun is a vampire's weakness. So Jonathan learned the ways of Haman and started training with Willie Zeppeli. He mastered many ways of Haman to kill all the vampires in his way and finally made it to Dio's lair. When he finally made it to Dio, he used his sunlight yellow overdrive to stop Dio for once and for all. So for part one, I rated a good 8 out of 10. It was pretty good, but there were some flaws that needed to be fixed. Let's get into part two. Next part up is Battle Tendency. In Battle Tendency, the main character is a guy named Joseph Joestar. In his journey to defeat the evil pillar men who have awoken from their 2000 year slumber to take over the world. In order to defeat them, he has to train to make his Haman stronger than before, and he trains with his friend Caesar and his coach Lisa Lisa. After a long journey, they finally make it to the pillar men's lair, then both Joseph and Lisa Lisa fight the pillar men for the red stone. Finally, Joseph wins against cars, and the world is saved. I personally think that part 2 was way better than the first part. In fact, it's my favorite Jojo part in general, so I give it a 10 out of 10. Alright, on to part 3. Next part up is Stardust Crusaders. This part is about how Dio awakens from his slumber, and Jotaro and his friends have to beat him for once and for all. This starts the adventure of the Stardust Crusaders, where they travel all across the world using the power of their stands. A stand is a manifestation of somebody's fighting spirit, and they can use it to fight other people. Using the power of their stands, they fight off a bunch of Dio's minions, and finally make it to Dio's lair, and they have an ultimate fight with him. Jotaro goes through a pretty tough time with Dio, and Dio almost kills him, but in the end of the day, Jotaro still wins, and kills Dio for the very last time, finally. Part 3 is also one of my favorite parts. I also rated a 10 out of 10. It comes with a close second to battle tendency, and overall I just love it. So, yeah. But there's one bad thing about it, is that it kind of got boring around the midway, but at the start and at the end, it was amazing. So, yeah. On to part 4. And next part up is Diamond is Unbreakable. This part takes place in Japan, and our main character is Josuke Higashikata. In his journey, he goes through a lot of stand battles to try to find a serial killer called Kiri Yoshikage. Unlike part 3, this part there's not really any traveling, it just stays in the same town of Morio the whole time. This is better because there's a lot of wacky and funny stand fights the whole time, and I liked it a lot. In the end of the day, Josuke and all of his friends found Kiryo Shikage and they went to the final fight where Jotaro absolutely demolished him with his time stop. So, part 4 was also insanely good, and once again, I'm gonna rate it a 10 out of 10, because it's just super good, and I love, like, how it's, like, a small town stories, like, how there's a bunch of random little stories mixed in, but overall, there's still, like, the main point where they gotta go kill this guy, the serial killer, so yeah, that was really good, and also, Josuke's theme song is pretty lit, like, Jornos, which we will cover right now, part 5, Golden Wind, let's get into it. Next part up is Golden Wind. In Golden Wind, the main character is a guy named Giorno Giovanna. With his stand, Golden Experience, 
he joins a gang called Pashone. During his journey, he fights a bunch of stand users sent out by the boss as he tries to take over the role of the boss so he can become the ultimate gang star. Eventually, he and his friends find the boss's location and they fight him and using his new ability, Golden Experience Requiem, he puts him in an infinite death loop and takes his place as the boss. So that's the end of Golden Wind. I rated a good 9 out of 10. It was pretty good. But it just wasn't as good as some of the other parts of JoJo. So yeah. And with that, this is the end of the video. I'm not going to be um, covering part 6. Because it's not fully animated yet. Like only a third of it I think is animated. So it's still got some episodes left to release. So I'm not going to rate it until it's fully released. Because so far it's just okay. But it could get a lot better. It could get a lot worse. I don't know. So I'm going to wait for that. I might make a video on Stone Ocean a little later. But for now, that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe. It's nighttime. When I started making this video, it was like 12 o'clock. So yeah, like 12 o'clock in the afternoon. So it took forever to make this. So please subscribe. So yeah, bye.